Queria perguntar-lhe se confirma uh, tudo aquilo que disse na, recentemente em entrevista que quer continuar o Benfica, o seu futuro é o Benfica e é, e é, e é aqui que está bem. É, bueno, é, sim, sí, sempre é, é lindo sentir-se importante num clube. É, Benfica, de, de minha chegada, sempre me brindou todo o melhor e estou muito confortável aqui. É, estou disfrutando é, todos os anos que que bueno, estoy estoy acá y, y bueno, uno cuando se siente feliz, eh, uno eh, le da más ganas de trabajar, de, de luchar, de competir y, y bueno, eh, de momento estoy muy feliz acá en Benfica y, y eh, sigo aquí. Olá, boa tarde, Otamene e Cristiana Carlos Alves, Cic Notícias. Enquanto capitão, pergunto-lhe como é que sente a equipa na véspera deste jogo. Se encaram esta partida como uma final e já agora se conversaram sobre o ambiente que vão encontrar. Eu sei que o Benfica, obviamente, está habituado a jogar num estádio cheio, mas toda a gente fala do ambiente que se vive aqui, da força que os adeptos dão à equipa. Vocês conversaram sobre isso? Existe alguma espécie de intimidação ou expectativa para perceber qual é que vai ser esse ambiente? Ah, bueno, creo que ao futbolista le le gusta estos tipos de ambiente eh, creo que, que bueno a mí en lo personal eh, lo disfruto es un ambiente que, que bueno que el fútbol eh, eh, es muy lindo de disfrutar dentro del campo del ambiente de la gente de la atmósfera y creo que, que bueno va a ser un partido muy muy bueno creo que nosotros tenemos que tener la, la personalidad de jugar en un estadio así temos que ter de jogar ao futebol, não ter medo de nada e tratar de, de bueno, fazer o que, lo que, lo que treinamos durante a semana. Já o eh, bueno, rival nos conhece, nós os conhecemos a eles, mas vai ser um partido eh, de classificação e, e bueno, esperemos fazer lo da melhor forma possível para seguir avançando e estando em Europa, que, que é o que nos importa neste momento. Os adeptos do Benfica não se portaram bem em Toulouse, têm uh, até uma pena suspensa uh, colocada pela UEFA. Que conselho, que pedido é que faz aos adeptos do Benfica, aos 2 mil que estarão amanhã nas bancadas uh, do Ibrox? Ah, bueno, creo que bueno, são comportamentos que, que não lhe fazem bem ao futebol e, e bueno, a verdade que, que bueno, eh, lamentablemente, não, não todos... Eh, tuvieron ese comportamiento, pero, pero bueno, eh, la sanción es, es más que lógica, pero, pero bueno, sentimos el, el apoyo en todo momento de, de los viquistas y, y bueno, más allá de, de que, que bueno, no puedan estar, eh, trataremos de nosotros pensar en nosotros, de hacer en nuestro juego y tratar de, de bueno, de seguir avanzando, eh, obtener una victoria mañana es importantísima para, para bueno, para, para el, lo anímico y, y bueno, seguir con este, en Europa que, que es algo lindo y una competición importante. Pegando lo que habló ahora de la importancia de la victoria, en la memoria de los adeptos ainda está muy fresco los, los juegos con el Sporting y con el Porto, hasta por ser rivales, y aquí también es un juego europeo en que solo una equipa puede pasar. Tendo todo esto en cuenta, diría que es un, un momento de afirmación de la equipa, en esta fase que entramos en la fase decisiva de la época, es un momento de afirmación de la equipa. Sí, para nosotros es importante porque, porque bueno, como lo, como lo dije antes, creo que el fútbol también es, 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 son las victorias, o sea, la victoria es lo que te da más tranquilidad, lo que te da más eh, eh, entusiasmo, eh, ambición. Y creo que, que bueno, eh, mañana es una victoria, es un, es un partido importante, que una victoria, obviamente, que que va, no va a marcar eh, lo que es eh, la temporada, pero sí nos va a dar fuerza para, para seguir afrontando eh, las competiciones que tenemos eh, por el frente. Y, y bueno, ojalá que, que bueno, mañana podamos hacer un buen partido, tratar de, de hacerlo eh, de la mejor forma posible y o, ojalá podamos obtener una victoria que, que nos va, no va a servir muchísimo. Nicolás Rafael Soares Record. Eu voltava ao primeiro tema, à primeira pergunta, porque o Nico já disse que gosta de estar na Europa, gosta de estar no Benfica, disse mesmo na, na entrevista que saiu na Argentina que a sua família também gosta de estar em Portugal, mas não foi claro em relação à forma como quer terminar a carreira. Tudo isto quer dizer que o Otamendi admite terminar a carreira no Benfica? Bueno, isso eh, depende de como, como me sinta eu a nível físico. Em este momento me sinto 
Me siento bien, me siento con ganas, eh, con entusiasmo y creo que eso ayuda a, a seguir luchando por, por lo que son, o sea, estando en Europa competís eh, tanto en Champions como, como te enfrentás a, a, a equipos que con ritmo y la verdad que en estos momentos me siento bien, voy quemando etapas eh, no, sin apresurarme en lo, en lo que es en la toma de decisiones, eh, a mí en lo personal, o sea, el club siempre me brindó lo mejor eh, y la verdad que estoy muy feliz acá, pero, pero bueno, una vez que, que finalice el contrato eh, veré, pero, pero bueno, eh, como te dije, voy quemando etapas y, y tratando de, de vivir el día a día que, que tanto yo como mi familia eh, eh, analizaremos eh, el futuro mais adelante. Não? Francisco Carvalho, José José. Tem-se falado muito, principalmente no último mês, das maiores fragilidades defensivas do Benfica. O Nico já tem alguns anos de casa. Ainda por cima, conhece bem os seus companheiros que, que jogam ao seu lado. Enquanto capitão, enquanto jogador, sente que mudou alguma coisa desde a época passada? Porquê é que sente que estão nesta fase menos positiva nesse aspecto? Não, a ver, o futebol é isso. Ou seja... El fútbol hay etapas eh, durante la temporada que no, no son buenas. Eh, el equipo que, o los jugadores que son más fuertes mentalmente y con personalidad son capaces de superar esa etapa. Eh, pero, a ver, eh, obviamente que se van jugadores, vienen jugadores nuevos, la adaptación y, y todo, pero eso tampoco es, es una excusa. Hay veces que eh, las cosas no te salen como como las planteas y, y creo que, que eso es lo que hace al grupo más fuerte, o sea, superar etapas difíciles, porque en las buenas, o sea, obviamente eh, todos eh, queremos estar, pero en las etapas más difíciles es donde más eh, fuerte eh, tenemos que estar, tanto los jugadores como el cuerpo técnico, el club, la gente que trabaja con nosotros, que está constantemente y creo que, que bueno, eh, es una etapa eh, que tenemos que superar y, y ojalá obviamente que, que, que sea pronto. Eh, creo que el fin de semana hicimos conseguimos una victoria que eso te ayuda, la victoria te da tranquilidad y te da más, más voluntad de trabajar y, y bueno, esa, ese es el camino. ¿no? Sí, Francisco Carvalho from Zero Zero. Uh, we already spoke about the, the aim, the, how, what the team is expecting from the Ibrox Stadium. It is like one of the major strengths from Rangers. What are you expecting from the game? And does this mental side of the game was a, a concern for you in the preparation? Yeah, it's the second leg uh, in the knockout stage, so uh, and away for us. So what we expect after a draw in the first leg. I think it's the decisive game. So one one team is tomorrow out of um, Europa League, and that's why I expect a team uh, a game which is more open than last uh, week. I think the story of the game in the, in the first leg at home um, in in our stadium um, was that they scored um, with the first chance and they scored with the second chance, so they were up in the game and. Of course, they defended also a little bit more the result. So we had to play very offensive. I think we were able to, to create um, very good chances. But at the end, we had to accept uh, the draw. And I think um, this is the situation. And tomorrow, we start at zero. And the winner is in the quarterfinals. So it's very simple. And uh, from the atmosphere, of course, I haven't been here before. But I heard already a lot about it. And um, so I think it will be a big motivation. Uh, for 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 the Rangers, but also for us. So we are ready for that. We already showed also in, in difficult international games. Even we have uh, some some very young players in our team, but also the, these players they got experience uh, in these matches. And uh, so we are ready to play a good match tomorrow. And uh, we will give everything to promote to to next round. Um, my question is about Frederick Ausnes. Uh, he's surprised by announcing the, their departure from from Norwegian team. Uh, did he talk to you about that before he, he, t he took his decision? And how good is for Benfica and for you uh, this, deci this decision? Uh, you know, I, I, yeah, uh, of course he informed me and he told me also his, his uh, reason. And um, so I could understand and of course we, we respect his decision. So as a player, you have one career and you have to make your, your own decision regarding your clubs, your, uh, regarding your career in the clubs. 
but also regarding the um, career and the national team. And um, if he feels a little bit is too much for him in total, and then he make this decision. Of course, I, I respect the decision, and I could also understand his his reasons. So I think uh, Frederick is a very reflected. Um, a man and uh, he knows exactly what he's doing on the pitch and also outside the pitch so i think if he's doing this if he's making this decision for sh for sure he knows exactly what he's doing so i respect this decision and um, i will not say this is an advantage or not so because he has a few games less um, at the end i think this is not the the, the main reason so um, i think um, i could follow him Roger, good afternoon once again. Good Alexander Candeias for Sport TV Portugal. I'd like to ask you also about Frederick, but in more general way, about the left back and the right back, the, the full backs of Benfica. This season, a lot of players have been playing there. In the last match, Alvaro also played as a right back. Do you feel that that was maybe the biggest lack in the preparation of the season this season, the full backs? Yeah, of course, uh, I think we had to change a lot uh, on this position. But we were always able to find solutions, so all of them. So um, I think, like you said, Frederick played already a lot of games as a right back, also as a, as a left back. Um, of course, um, also affected because of the injury of Alex Barr. He was a long time, a long time uh, out. Then we had to find a solution uh, with Morato. Uh, Alvaro uh, came in, a, in the winter break. And uh, so I think we have a lot of options. And at the end, we have to make always um, decisions. That Frederick is uh, so flexible as a central midfielder to play both fullback position, of course, is, a, is for us a big advantage because um, uh, he's playing these position, positions on, on top level, maybe a little bit different than other real fullbacks playing this position. So he's more a, a midfielder and he's, he shows, he's showing that also in, in his style of playing on this position. But uh, I appreciate how he's doing and not only um, the, the quality, also his mentality to, to accept always what the team needs uh, the most. And then he's ready to, to play top games, to be completely focused without any, any doubts and without any complaints. So to have players like him is, is for us top. Uh, gives me always also the, the, the options to, yeah, to, in difficult moments, to, to use him on different uh, positions. Hi, Roger Schmidt, Cristiano Queiroz Alves, uh, Cic Notícias. Yesterday we saw a game in the uh, Champions League that uh, ended with penalties. So my question is, did you prepare the penalty shootout or do you believe that Benfica will get the, jo the job done before that? Yeah, depends on the game. So at the end we want to win tomorrow. So doesn't matter how. So at the end, if you have to play extra time or if you have to um, uh, go for the penalty shooting, we have to be ready for that. And we always try to prepare everything and also uh, this situation. Uh, Roger, uh, I, uh, Nuno Travas from Abola. Um, I will ask the same thing I asked Nico, um, because I think it's, it's an important uh, moment for the season, because um, the, the supporters are still thinking about the games against Sporting and Porto, because they're the rivals. Uh, and now it's a, an European match, only one team can, can go through. So do you feel that is a, is a, a very important and affirmation moment for the team? Yeah, of course, we are in March, so uh, it's always the same every year. Um, so it's, if you go for prices, these are the decisive weeks huh? because the decisions are very, very close. And um, the good thing is uh, we are in free competition, still, still able, able to, to do something. And um, yeah, I think we try our best in the, in the league. We still have the, the Tassa, the Portugal, the second leg, and um, then tomorrow we have second leg in Europa League. And that these weeks are decisive for each single competition is, is very clear because it's the end of the almost the end of the season. And so I, I think we, we have to show tomorrow that we deserve to go to, to quarter final uh, in Europa League. It would be a great a great achievement, and we are ready in, in, in tomorrow, but also in the other competitions to, to fight for our goals. Roger, can you just tell us? What you're expecting from Rangers tomorrow? Are you expecting a different approach from, them from the one you saw in Lisbon last week? I think uh, it's a different match. Huh? So I think we play here in, in Glasgow. 
and this actually is zero zero, so there's no away goal room anymore, so it is completely on zero, and tomorrow is decisive, and of course, I think uh, uh, Glasgow Rangers is a team who can also play attacking football, so, and uh, I think they believe also in their, in their quality and in their strengths, so I expect that it's more, more an open game than in the, in the first leg. And um, so we have to be ready for that, so that we have to defend also uh, more in the last uh, third than last week. But of course, we are also a team who cannot hide. So we are a team uh, with a clear idea to, to, to use also the 90 minutes to show that we, that we can create chances and that we deserve to win the game. So I think I, I expect tomorrow a very good football match in a very good atmosphere. And um, yeah, hopefully the better team will win. Is there a frustration given how strong Rangers have been at home in recent years that you're not coming here with a, an advantage of some kind? A lead? What do you mean? If you're not coming here with a lead, you're coming here with the game still tied. Is there a frustration that you have not come here uh, with a lead from last week? No, no, no. It's, uh, you know, as in the football, you have to look forward. Huh? You have to live in the year now. So what, what happened last week doesn't matter. So the situation is like it is. I think we played better than a draw last uh, last week, so I think the the result was was good for for Glasgow, but not for us. But at the end, you have to accept in football sometimes um, you have a great efficiency, and then you can show it also in the result. And last last week, um, I think Glasgow Rangers had had a great uh, efficiency, so they scored with two two moments. Um, so and there's also quality, yeah? so we will not complain about that. So I think we we have to accept, and uh, tomorrow we have to show that we are able to. To, um, yeah, to work very good on the pitch as a team in total. I think the, the connection between the players is important in the defense, but of course we also have to show our quality in, in, the, in the offense. And then I think everything is possible tomorrow.